lecture we will learn how to find the focus vertex and directrix of parabola when the vertex is not at origin means for a shifted graphs so let's start the lecture so as here is the first question that we have to find the focus vertex and directrix of this equation of a parabola but before going to this just check out this information that we previously discussed y minus k square which is equals to minus 4a and x minus h where the vertex is h and k but we already discussed that in the standard equations of a parabola the vertex is at origins means the value of k and h in 0 means the vertex is at origin now we will discuss that what we do when the vertex is not at origin means here is the value of h and k we can write it as y minus 0 square which is equals to minus 8 x minus 3 if we suppose this is our basic first equation so what we suppose in a next step that this equation is not look like as a standard equations of parabola so our first step is to make this equation as a standard equation of a parabola if I let that the term which is x dash I suppose the value of x minus 3 and I suppose the other thing which is y dash which is equals to y minus 0 and the first equation becomes what the equation says y dash scale which is equals to minus 8 and this x minus 3 will be x dash this is my second equation so if I compare second equation with this standard equation of a parabola 4a which is equals to 8 so our aim is to calculate the value of a so a which is equals to 2 if I find out the focus of this second equation because I deal with this second equation so the focus in that case which is minus a 0 is minus 2 into 0 this is a focus of second equation but my aim to calculate the focus of this first equation so what I do for that case as in the focus this is x dash coordinate and this is y dash coordinate and we suppose the values of x dash and y dash means x dash which is equals to minus 2 and y dash which is equals to 0 in that particular coordinate of the focus so we already suppose these two terms so just put the value of x dash in the in this equation and y dash in this minus 2 which is equals to x minus 3 or in a similar way which is 0 which is equals to y minus 0 then I find out the value of x which is 1 and the value of y which is equals to 0 so in this way I can find out the coordinates of x and y of the focus of this first equation is 1 0 of first equation so the vertex of this equation will be because in that case the vertex is at origin vertex of second equation this is again x dash coordinate and this is y dash coordinate but we are interested to find out the coordinate x and y so it means that here the value of x dash is 0 and y dash is also 0 so in the next step we just put the values of x dash y dash in these two equations so if I put here so the value of x dash is 0 which is equals to x minus 3 or the y dash which is equals to 0 and which is equals to y minus 0 so in this way we will calculate the value of x and value of y which is a vertex of the first equation so what I find here the vertex which I denote by capital V and the vertex having coordinates 3 into 0 of first equation as we also check out if we compare these two equations the value of h is 3 and the value of k is 0 find out the directrix of this second equation so the directrix of this second equation which is x 
dash which is equals to positive 2 because this shows that the parabola opens to the left side so the directrix is on the positive side of the x axis but this is the directrix of second equation but we have to find the directrix of the first equation just put the value of x dash in this equation the value of x dash is 2 and which is equals to x minus 3 so we find it x which is equals to 2 plus 3 means x is equals to 5 directrix which is x is equals to 5 of first equation means our first main equation that we have to require to find all of things. Now we have to plot it. So what is the vertex in that case which is 3 is equal means in x coordinate the value is 3 and in y coordinate the value is equal means here is something a vertex which is 3 is equal and what is the focus? Focus is here which is 1 is equal here is a focus point and the directrix line is x is equals to 5 means something here is a directrix line which is x which is equals to 5. Now we have to plot it. So it shows that the uh, parabola is open to the left side because the parabola always open towards the focus and away this directrix line. We have to take some points and just to plot on it. So I will take a value of x and get a value of y. If I put the value of x is 1 in first equation then what I get y square which is equals to minus 8 1 minus 3 then minus 8 minus 2 means it will be 16 y square. So the value of y is equals to plus minus 4. So if I put the value of minus 2 in first equation it will be y square is equals to minus 8 minus 2 and minus 3. So after solving this so it will be a 40 and the value of y which is plus minus 6.3 in this way and if I put the value of minus 5 in first equation so I will get the value of plus minus so the value is 1 then the value of y is positive 4 and for a negative 4 and if I take a value which is minus 2 then I will get here 6.3 means here is something a point and I will take here is something a point and I will take the value minus 5 and I will get plus minus 8 means in x axis the value is 5 and in y axis the value is something here which is 8 and in a similar way I can find this point. So we find all of these points so if I join it as and I will get a parabola which is this. So this is our parabola of the equation which is y square which is equals to minus 8x minus 3. So let us take one more example. We have a equation which is this given equation and so for this we take some steps that is x square plus 6x which is equals to take the term of y and this uh, constant term on the other side so it will be 8y minus 17. So I make a complete square of this x term. So how is it that x square plus 2 within formula and in x and find the factor which complete this term as I will take that 3. So plus 3 square and minus 3 square 8y minus 17. So if you notice that, that this term make a square means x plus 3 square minus 9 which is equals to 8y minus 17 x plus 3 square so we just to make a form of the equation of a parabola so it will be 8y minus 17 plus 9 so in the next step we just simplify and it will be minus 8 if we simplify in just one more step it will be 8 common and y minus 1. So I suppose that this is my first equation. So to convert into the standard equations of a parabola I will let x plus 3 which is equals to x dash and the term y dash which is equals to y minus 1 then the first equation becomes in that case x dash square which is equals to 8y dash 
and I will suppose that this is my second equation as this equation is similar to this equation of a parabola. So if I compare these two equations then what I get? I get the value of a. 4a which is equals to a then I will find a which is equals to 2. So the focus in that case it will be 0a because in that case the working axis is y axis and the positive sign says that it will open in the upward 0 2 which is a focus of second equation. So here x dash is 0 and y dash is 2. After put these values in this term so x plus 3 which is equals to 0 means x is equals to minus 3. y dash y minus 1 which is equals to y dash which is equals to 2. So y which is equals to 3. So we finally find out a focus which I denote by capital F and having the coordinates minus 3 and 3. So of first equation. As you see that the equation in a standard form of equation means in that form and in that case the vertex is always 0. So without any confusion the vertex of second equation is 0, 0. So here that is we say that x dash which is equal to 0 and y dash which is equal to 0. Now put both of these values in this equation and we find x and y. So x plus 3 is equal to 0 that is and y minus 1 which is equal to 0. So we have to compute x is equal to minus 3 and the other value y which is equal to positive 1 means here the vertex which I denote with a capital V which is having a coordinate minus 3 and 1 of first equation. So now to find out the direct x which is y dash which is equal to minus a. What's the value of a as we find it the value of a is positive 2. So negative 2. This is the direct x of second equation. So my y minus 1 which is equal to minus 2. So we have to find a y which is equal to minus 2 positive 1 means y is equal to negative 1. First equation means our main equation. So focus is minus 3 and for our 3 so something here the focus which is minus 3 and 3 and what is the vertex which is minus 3 and 1 means here is a vertex of this parabola which is minus 3 and 1 and the directrix line is y which is equals to minus 1 means something here which is y is equals to minus 1 so if we take some points and uh, plot it on a graph I put the value of x in this equation and get a value of y. If I put a value for example for origin and take a point for negative 3 that is a vertex point and the other point which is for the negative 5 and I will take for negative 7 and on a positive side I will take positive 2. So if I put the value which is 0 here then I will find 2.125 and if I will put the value of x which is negative 3 then it will be positive 1 and if I will put the value of x is negative 5 it will be positive 5 if I put negative 7 so it will be 3 and if I put 2 of the value of x in first equation so it will be 4.125 for 0 its value is 2 point something here and for negative 3 it will be 1 here is a vertex point and for negative 5 it will be 1.5 means something here and for negative 7 it will be positive 3 means something here point and for positive 2 it will be 4 point means a point something here so if I join all these points so I will get a parabola in this form. You also take more points. This distance is A. The vertex and the focus distance is A. Then it will be 2A. 2A. And this is called the full length is called a lattice vectum of a parabola. So if you like this then don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share.